Good morning and welcome to a day in the life of me. I've never done a vlog or anything like this before so this is going to be completely different. I am very new to this but I bought myself a new vlogging camera so I'm going to try and share a bit more of my life rather than it just being all fashion related stuff because obviously when I'm wearing the outfits I'm suggesting to you in real life day to day situations then I want you guys to be able to see that as well and how I wear and you know create create everyday looks that might inspire you and your wardrobe. So I've just had my breakfast, I had a chicken sausage sandwich which was divine and a coffee with some caramel cream room which was lovely to start the day and then I've had a shower. I'm gonna go upstairs into my dressing room now and get ready because today I'm filming videos all day. I have got um, a Zara haul YouTube video to film and then I also wanna film some other little bits in between for another video that I'm working on. Then I'll be heading over to our ELR style unit if you are new here and you don't know what ELR style is, it's my clothing brand that I started in May this year and it's just going from strength to strength. It's just absolutely incredible the response and support that I've had from so many people and it's just so exciting to say that I have a unit of my <laughs> design. It's absolutely mad. But um, yeah, we had a big launch on Friday and um, we are going to be packing orders so that they will be sent on Monday. Um, so it'll be full team effort. Um, Anthony is already there packing orders as we speak and then his parents are going to come and help pack orders also um so yeah i'll just take you through the day and what happens and also i asked on instagram if there's any questions that you guys wanted to know that i don't really share my life with. you know i'm quite a private person so i don't always share a lot of intimate things but um a few questions have come up that i will answer today so let's get going i'm gonna go dry my hair i might put my hair in heated rollers because it's just so much easier while i do my makeup um and then like i said filming a zara haul and a few more reels so i'll show you all the setup of how i create my dressing room into a studio it is a lot smaller than it actually looks on instagram um when people come and they're like is this the room that you're filming i'm like yeah i know it's really small um so yeah let's just get going just wanna make things right so, this is how I usually start my day from filming. I'll just have a shower, wash my hair, and then I swear by heat protection, Moroccan hair oil, and this blow dry lotion. And then this brush, I can't live out. Sorry, the sun is like in and out because um, I'm doing my makeup at the window. And then when I'm getting ready, I've turned it off right now because obviously for copyright reasons, but I have my like, little Google Home, which is so good for when I'm filming because I can just like tell it to turn on and off in between clips. So I have some music throughout the day. Um, it plays radio sessions and stuff like that as well. So it just like is a nice thing to have when you work from home alone, which I'm obviously doing. So first of all, I'm gonna blow dry my hair now. I am using this GHD Big Barrel brush, which I am, sorry, I've just unplugged her and she's coming back on now. She's like, I'm here, I've turned it for work. I am just heating up my rollers I mentioned earlier I'm going to be putting these in because it's just so much easier when I am a bit short for time like I am today to just quickly dry my hair put the rollers in and then I'll do my makeup and it just looks really good and everyone always seems to compliment my hair when I've had it in the rollers so I won't bore you with talking the whole way through this I'll speed it up and you can just watch me do my hair and makeup and then I will see you just before I start filming I'll do what lighting I use tripods cameras um the one that I'm filming on right now is the Sony VZ, I think it's called, I can't remember, I'll put it down below in the um, description if anybody wants to start obviously vlogging and stuff. This one I is new, um, I wanted to get two cameras for this exact reason because it's just a nightmare trying to film videos on my phone, portrait, then having to go back to the landscape, having to like take all my camera equipment down and stuff just to get like a little shot. So I've invested in this one. So far so good. I really like the lighting and the way I can see myself in the screen as well. It comes with this like little cute tripod thing um, which I'll show you throughout the video at some point as well I'm sure. So let's begin the transformation. <laughs> Makeup today. Do you know you just like start and then you think, oh, just add a bit more and then a bit more and it just the more is not good. So we're just going with it. I'm just not. This is the worst part. Like I absolutely hate doing my hair and makeup. Like I could film all day, no problem. Love it. I just hate doing my hair and makeup with a passion. I'm not joking. I just hate doing it. Like I don't really wear a lot of makeup. And then 
when I come back to look at the videos, I'm like, oh, I can't not, not wear that much makeup if I'm under all these lights. It just looks terrible. So I have to put a lot more makeup on than I would usually wear. Um, or like, <laughs> I tend to wear every day like a tinted moisturizer I've spoken about a few times before. And the amount of abuse I get on TikTok from people being like, why are you so shiny? Like, why is your forehead so shiny? And I'm like, well, my skin's like moisturized and it's fresh and I don't really wear a lot of makeup. So now I've got to the stage where I have to put loads of like powder and stuff on because the lights just like bounce off my natural skin type. So I'm sick of getting abuse on TikTok about how shiny my skin is. So I have piled the makeup on today, which I'm probably going to regret when I look at the video to edit afterwards, but the rollers always deliver so i'm going to show you what i am going to use to film i always use the dressing table chair which i'll show you in a second i turn it the way because when i'm filming i will always think oh my god i need to sit down to put these shoes on it's always a struggle or just to throw some bits on when i'm trying things on and it's just helpful to have a chair there honestly these rollers 50 pound from Babylon, game changer i'll link them down below if they're back in stock but i cannot deal without these like you just witness i had to just dry my hair and then instead of having to curl my whole hair um, on top of having to do my makeup, I just take these out and it's just done it for me. So it saves so much time. And then the Pizista, Piesta Resistance is the fringe. Oh, just love it. Rush it back. And then just really softly brush the curls out. I've got this weather. What the hell is going on? I look like I'm from the 80s right now. But you can see what I'm saying, for filming, it's just perfect because as I start filming, my hair will start to drop and I'll just brush through it before I start. Um, and then on camera, it just looks really good as well, which probably looks really scary right now from <laughs> this, this angle, but it's just so big and full. Right, I'm gonna start filming, so I will show you my dressing room so my essentials for filming is obviously my camera this is my first ever youtube camera that i got probably 2020 um yeah when i first started my channel i bought this um camera and it's a eos 250d it's good because you can change lenses if you want to it's good for um photographs it's really easy to use it's got a viewfinder like so and then it will sit on my tripod again from Amazon. I'll link all these bits down below if you wanted, if you're actually interested. Um, and then it sits on there and I can move the tripod up and down for if I'm doing far away or if I'm doing it in the corner, little shots here. And then when I've got a big filming day today, where I've got loads to get through. I always write everything down in a book because it's so easy to get distracted and think, I've not said something I'm supposed to say or if I've got like a brand deal that I need to do and there's like a key thing that they want to share with you guys about what makes the product good. But then I'll also write like a checklist of things like that I need to get done um, and then just take it off as I go along so I don't forget anything. So that's important for today. Then in terms of filming, I'm gonna go a bit zoomed out yet. So I'm just using my phone so I can show you these bits. But um, then in terms of filming, I use this corner obviously. Hello. Um, so this is what you see on Instagram. Um, and I also film in this corner for YouTube. And then around here is the dressing table where I've just been, my shoes, my washing basket, um, and then the lights I use. I actually just bought this light recently from Amazon. It's not as good as I wanted, so I wouldn't recommend it. Um, and then I have been using this light for a very long time, which I will link down below. And it's so good because it's so bright. So I definitely recommend this. I wish I'd bought two of these instead of buying these ones because they're rubbish. Um, but you know, you live and you learn. Um, and then also I have these wires which are such a mess but this is so good it's like a double dual um extension but it also has these plugs at the side so i charge my cameras i can use my hair equipment i can have my google home thing i told you about plugged in and it's just so easy obviously the wires make me so upset but there is nothing we can do <laughs> and then I also have this light on, which is my first ever ring light I bought, and I just keep it because it's just nice to have a little bit of extra light coming through as well as natural light. And then, as I said, this is the mirror that I use to get ready in. So I do actually have quite a lot of lights on me when I'm filming. So this one will be turned on, this one, this one, this one, and then I have the actual main light on. So yeah, there's quite a few lights on me while I'm in this corner. Um, but as you can see with the natural light, obviously I've got these ones on now, it is quite dark, so we need to 
lighten it up a little bit. So I'm gonna get started now. As you can see, my hair's already starting to drop, so it's like perfect time to start filming. Um, and I'm gonna get changed right now. I'm gonna set up in the corner so I can start this YouTube video and I'll be back. I'll set you up in the background while I'm filming so you can see the behind the scenes of the behind the scenes. Um, but yeah. This is my day so far. Also, I'll show you this little room. So this is our tiny spare room. It's literally so small, look. <laughs> um, but I keep this room for all of the bits that I might need to shoot or there's a lot of my Ice Out First collection there because I have a retainer with them as part of the deal that I'm doing, as part of the um, contract that I have to continue to post all of the collection. So that stays there. And then also all these bits I need to shoot because they're new for autumn. Then here is just like all giveaway bits that I'm saving to do for a giveaway. Try not to show you my manifestation, but <laughs> that I'm, all that stuff there is what I am doing as a giveaway, I think in the next week or so. So that might be on my YouTube channel, but I'm really digressing now. So I'm gonna get going and start filming. Excessive. So together we can look through these bits, try them on, let's see what we think. Do we think keep or Send back. That is, that is, that is the theme of today's. I feel like the lighting's really weird, but I'm just in between filming. So I've just filmed the intro for Zara and then some other bits that I've been filming as well. And then now I'm gonna put my camera over there and then I do the bits in between where I try things on, which takes the longest time. But I just thought, well, I've got a second. I've got loads of questions from you guys I'm gonna answer because I just think it's quite nice to do a little Q&A sometimes. Um, okay, so it might be nosy, but how much money did you need behind you to start your own business? So I did a video on this already, um, about ELR style and like how it how it happened for me and it was like a really emotional video like every time I watch it I actually cry every time I watch it because it just brings back how I was feeling in that moment um I'll link that down below as well if anybody wants to watch it about how I started ELR style um I actually saved up £17,000 to start the business um and like I said in that video it was from my job I just kept saving money up every single month and making sacrifices we'd been saving for a deposit for a house so it was over a accumulation of time that I saved up all that money um it was very hard to do um but obviously so worth it now that every single time we buy stock it's just reinvesting into the business we don't take any money out of the business um other than to pay VAT and tax. It did really help having that money up front because obviously we started the business in our house um, and we bought all the stock up front because that's usually how you have to do it with a manufacturer because obviously why would they want to give you some clothes for free and then you sell them, it doesn't work like that. So yeah, needed that money up front really to get everything going. So even like the, to print the labels, that printer itself is like 200 and some quid. Um, the bags to send the orders off. We needed money for that. Again, you've got to buy like thousands at a time of them. Um, the stock, so the more stock we bought, the better rate we would get for each item. So we actually bought a thousand units in each item for the first um, launch. And thank God that's sold and it's continued to sell and we've just increased every single time. Um, for ELR style, so like I said, we're just reinvesting the money back in, we've not taken any money out. That's not to like avoid anything, I've got an accountant, they literally look through all my money, which sometimes is a little bit intrusive, because you're just like, I don't really want to see what I'm buying three takeaways a week. Um, but yeah, my accountant deals with everything like that because I am just so bad with numbers, and there's just so many elements to it that I had no idea were gonna cost money. Like, we are a limited business now, so I have to pay VAT every three months, which absolutely skints the life out of me. It's just, oh, yeah, there's so many elements to having a business that there's like so many glamorous parts and it's like, looks so nice. And like, you do feel like really accomplished that you've got a business, but honestly, there's so many parts to it. And sometimes I'm just like, Jesus, this was like unexpected. I didn't realize I needed to pay all this money for this or up front and, um, one thing, once things sell out, then we have to wait again for, for them to be made, but we have to pay 30% up front to the manufacturer to buy the fabric and everything. So literally as soon as those, as soon as we sell stuff from ELR and you guys buy it, then we have to wait for that money to clear through Shopify and through Klarna. So sometimes we don't get that money straight away. And then that money has to then go 30% to the manufacturer. And then before I will send it, he needs the full amount to be sent to us. There's shipping, import fees. Um, Shopify takes a cut of every single, um, products so say if you buy a bodysuit for 27.99 they will take a percentage and no matter what the price of the item they'll just take the exact same percentage which you know all these things do add up like i said bags um you have to pay a monthly subscription to shopify the url to be able to do that 
Um, there's just so many things I had no idea. And like I said, I've been up and running for five months, so there's still stuff that we're learning all the time. And I actually did see one of these questions was about um, do we take any interns on and things like that. We, are, we have actually just had a full interview process where we had over... I think it was like 80 people applied for the job which was crazy i did not expect that because i just posted it on linkedin um and we got it down to 10 people that we did video interviews with and then we got it down to um a few people that came and presented at elr style like what they would do with a business how they saw it moving forward like campaign ideas and things like that um and then we just hired somebody quite recently and they're starting with us in the next few weeks and then we're also taking on an intern who will be starting with us in for the next few weeks because november is going to be really busy but it's absolutely mad because for me i interned for free for so many years when i was living in london I really sped through all this but um basically when i left to move to london at 18 and i went and did styling and photography, FDA at London College Fashion for two years. At that time when I was there, I was also interning for free when I really needed to get a job because I couldn't afford to live in London. My mum and dad like really supported me and really skinned themselves to support me. So I'm always forever in their debt that they really like saw my vision that I wanted to do these things. Um, so yeah, I worked for magazines, interning for free. I always remember this one story <laughs> where I was assisting a stylist, I can't remember what magazine it was for, I think it was like a big magazine like Days and Confused or something like that, this this stylist was like an um, editor there and um, I also was assisting her on like a freelance shoots that she was doing as well so she'd get loads of products in and how it used to work with the editorial magazines is that you'd approach a brand or you'd I'd message as an assistant on behalf of the stylist to a brand and say I'm doing a shoot for this magazine, we'd love to include you in this, blah blah blah, would you send some stuff? Then I'd have to go to the PR office, pick up the stuff take it to the shoot, steam it, put it in the models, and then once they'd wore it and we'd done it, put it back in, make sure it's clean, not got deodorant on it or anything because it has to be used over and over again, and then take it back to the PR, which, you know, in a normal place, like, you could just jump in a car, but in London, obviously, you have to get the tube, you have to get the bus, there's, you can't just drive, well, you can just drive somewhere, but when you're 18, it's not, you're not going to be driving around London, so... Yeah, I really have grafted over the years and like put myself in situations where, you know, I've really showed initiative to learn and, and, and like take a lot of information in from different people that have been like amazing at what they do. So yeah, I'm really lucky to be in that position. And I really do say if you are watching this as you're somebody who wants to start your own business or you wanted to get into something fashion related, then honestly reach out to brands and say I really want to intern and show initiative and if, honestly if you will, are willing to work for free for a week to two weeks you will learn so much invaluable information I still to this day think that um I went and interned after I'd done my second degree in marketing and um media at a um marketing agency and I learned more in that two weeks at marketing agency than I did in that whole time that I did that second course because it was hands-on and they ended up offering me a position a few months later anyway and I got a full-time job there um, so you know these things if you can show initiative and you can show that you're really interested in what it is and you're willing to learn and put this put your career first then you, you're gonna really learn a lot and you're gonna succeed and move forward quite quickly so I've really got my thumb on there but um yeah so that's that one then I've seen another one saying what does Anthony do as a job um, can't wait to see this video. So Anthony left his job early, no, the end of, so it's still been a year actually. I'm actually enjoying all these questions of you guys being like a bit nosy and wanting to get to know me and Anthony a bit better because I do think I have a really bad tendency of just like being up business and not showing too much personal stuff because I don't know, I like to keep things quite, um, you know, separate. I mean, when you go to your job, I'm pretty sure you don't go and sit there and t tell people like what you did day to day with your partner or go into detail or show that side of your life. Um, and like, obviously, when we got engaged and stuff, and I didn't want that recording, I didn't want anything to be shared overly about what happened and the experience and stuff like that because it's like private. I want to keep that really to us, and I don't need to overshare so many things because that's not why you guys are here. You're here to get useful tips on fashion and stuff and don't get me wrong there's so many channels that I love to watch where people do share things and I think oh it's really nice but for me personally I feel like sometimes you have to draw a line in terms of what is allowed to be seen on camera because you know I, I've done it myself where me and Anthony will be at dinner and then I'm recording the dinner in terms of like how people are going to perceive it rather than being in the moment and that's just not me at all I don't like it I don't enjoy doing it so 
I've stopped doing stuff like that um, as much because he hates it, I hate doing it, I'd rather just be in the moment and spend time together. So I'm not gonna be saying that we're gonna be starting, you know, sharing so much personal stuff because I just think, you know, you don't really care and it's important to have some privacy and you just have some time for yourself. So what he does, <laughs> digress again, what he does is he basically runs all of ELR style. So things were really taking off for me more and more and I couldn't meet demand. So he was really helping me get organized, like even invoicing brands and stuff like that. I was like so behind on payments because I just didn't have the time to sit and like work out how much money a brand owed me and stuff. And it was getting ridiculous. So he, um, started helping with that and then we always knew that the ELR style thing was happening so it was literally within two months of that he then started working on ELR style because we launched it and um he literally runs majority of the business to be honest I yeah I could not do this without him it's just ridiculous so he does all customer service so if you ever have a problem where I don't know something might be damaged or I just want to ask a question or anything like that he deals with all customer service stuff he deals with all returns he deals with all distribution so organizing like when it's going to be delivered where it's going to be delivered organizing like all the stock room making sure that we know what's going to be put live on the website um he organises like just every day, to, everything day to day really that needs to be done for the business because obviously I'm still creating content quite often and I can't create content and then see emails from people and then they're not really replied to. Obviously Anthony takes ownership of that and he looks after everything to do with making sure that the business is running, growing, people are happy, best quality, everything. Um, and then what I do is all the websites. So I built the website completely through Shopify. Um, I do all the social content. I do all of the e-com stuff. So taking pictures, organizing it with models, location shoots, stuff I do with my friend Tom. He shoots all the stuff, lays and all that kind of stuff. Um, obviously shooting content. So sharing it on my Instagram and creating videos and stuff here that I then put on the website. I also create all the designs, ideas. So then I'll have a um, meeting with our manufacturer um, and we'll sit me and Anthony and talk to him and still talk about finance and stuff and how much costs and the import and like when it's been sent and the delivery and things like that and then I'll sit and talk to him about the designs, what we're expecting, what we want, the quality, how we want the labels to look, how we want the care labels to look, things like that. So I would say the business is very 50-50 because both of us, that's why I think it's working so well at the moment is because both of us are doing equal amounts and um, yeah, I just, I can't do the things that he can do and he can't do the things that I do. So together we just work really well. And I don't know, like I, some people always laugh and be like, oh my God, I couldn't work with my partner, but I actually love it and I know he loves it as well. And we just, yeah, we're just like, I don't know. He's just so different to me and I'm so different to him that it just, it just works. It's really weird how it's happened. Um, he's there right now. So I'm gonna finish this video and then I'll go over and I'll show you him and his mum were packing orders today. Um, what stuff is coming with ELR style? So, um, this bodysuit, I'm actually wearing it right now. So this is exact same as the icing color that just launched. It's gonna be coming in black, that's coming in next. We just put that through production yesterday. Um, then the, we're doing a blazer, but I'm just, I'm, I, it's, oh. Do you know you set something, you start doing, some, doing something, and again, I thought naively it was gonna be really easy, it's not. I'm not happy with the fabric. I'm happy with the cut, but the fabric's just not right. And obviously because um, our manufacturer is in a different country, we can't just jet over and talk fabric samples and then jet back. So yeah, I'm just not 100% and I want the quality to be really good. And I don't wanna just rush something just to say like, oh, we've launched this. So for me, everything has to be perfect. And we started the blazer in August, we're now in October and I'm still not happy with it. So. Hopefully it will be out in November, but again, I'm not pushing, I'm not rushing into something and it being wrong. Um, so that's come in, hopefully. Then we've also got a long sleeve bodysuit, which I know you guys are gonna love so much. It's like a roll neck, it's not even a roll neck, it's like a high neck, so like a polo neck, roll neck kind of design. And then it has like a zip up here, so it's really snug to your neck and looks really flattering. And then it's got a seam here and it's long sleeve. It's the exact same material and cut as the high neck ELR style one and then this one as well but obviously it's just got arms and a different neck and again we've had I would say probably about seven samples back and forth of that now because we started that one in July um, and I do really like it it's like I would say it's 99% 
ready to go. There was just a few little things, like I just wanted the neck to be like a slightly a bit looser, so we've added an extra inch there. Um, and same with the arms, I wanted the arms to reflect the sizing of the body, so we've added a little inch there. Um, and just everything, like I want, as always, I'm such a perfectionist, I want it to be perfect, I want you guys to get it and be like, wow, I'm gonna have this in my wardrobe for years, it's such a good staple. Um, and I'm really lucky in the fact that our manufacturer understands that I am <laughs> very demanding and I want things to be perfect and he knows that obviously the better quality and the best results that we can give is going to make you guys want to return to buy stuff from ELR style which then in, in and you know overall lends his pocket so he understands that we're not just going to rush through things we're not a brand that wants to have multiple multiple um items on the website that we're getting from like a wholesaler like so many people have been like why don't you just go to manchester wholesalers and like pick loads of stuff and brought the website and i'm like what's the point like that can be done over and over again you can just go into any website and there's, there's so many that are like that i really want to concentrate on having a few items that are really good quality good basics people can keep returning to buy or they might hear from somebody else that they've got this and then they want to come and buy but um yeah that's just important to me to not go overboard with having like loads of loads of different items that are not good quality because you know you can't run before you can walk eventually i'd love to have loads of items on the website but as it is currently a team of two with a third person coming in and um, and then obviously anthony's parents and my parents are really supportive and help us with packing and stuff i just don't want to go overboard and stretch ourselves too much and then the quality starts to drop because we don't have the time to you know check all the items or have those conversations with the manufacturer and things are getting rushed through and yeah i just it's so important to me it's so 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 important to have the quality there and it remain there and people happy and you know the reviews that we get is crazy and i want to keep it that way because it's just when i read them i'm just like this is how i feel and like you feel like that that's just so exciting anyway um, have I tried on any wedding dresses yet? No, um, I am speaking to a bridal um, boutique and I'm really excited to go in and try some bits on there because they are so, so, so supportive and lovely and they've got a very strong message about like not having to lose weight for your wedding and things like that. So um, I'm excited to go and see them. But as I mentioned on stories of the day, we've kind of put wedding planning on hold until January because um, one was exceptionally stretched um, and two, my well, Anthony's best friend and my best friend are getting married um, in July 2022. So they've had to push their wedding back so many times that I just like, do you know what? My wedding can wait because I want to have, I want you guys to have the best experience. I don't want it to be like, oh, you know, we're planning our wedding now, but so we can just wait. We're, we're happy to wait. We have spoke. We do maybe want to get married in Greece. We haven't fully decided. Obviously, there's like a lot to ask of people to go to Greece, but that's kind of where my heart is lying at the moment, that I want to have this beautiful, really intimate Greek wedding. So we shall see. Um, I've got loads. When are you going to be able to ship to Europe? So again, we've, it's just like a never ending, like you think you're going to get somewhere and then the next thing they're like, oh, actually you need this number now. And there's, I can't remember what it's called. Anthony's been dealing with it. It's um uh, something, this e European code. Once you've got that, we thought then we could sell internationally. Then they've come back and been like, you've got that, but now you need to get that. And obviously because I said, Anthony is very stretched, replying to emails, um, doing all the technical, like doing all the business side of things. A new person is starting with us next week and that'll take off a lot of strain on everybody so we can start to focus on things like that and again i didn't want to really push to whiz through offering international and then you guys get the rubbish deal because there's so many bad deals out there where it's going to be like you have to pay ridiculous import fees and all this stuff and i just didn't want to rush into it and then once you've done it you can't then take back what you've done so we have looked into it we have got we're, we're probably i would say 60 percent there but the goalpost keeps moving, which is very annoying. Um, but I know that's one of Anthony's biggest priorities to sort international out. So it is coming, I promise you. But like I said, I don't want to offer a rubbish experience. I want it to be the best experience that you guys can get. You know, I don't want things to just be excessive and quick and like rushed and then it's like, oh, we've bit more of them, we can chew there. So yes, um, obviously I know I have support from you girls internationally and that means so much to me. Canada 
love you guys in Canada, America, Australia. Like there's so many of you. I can't, sometimes I can't believe it. I'm just like, you guys are watching me in Canada. Like that is crazy. So I think I've answered quite a few there and I've got like, I got personal. I feel like I've really opened up. I mean, I'm a Capricorn guys. It's hard for me to um, open up and be vulnerable. So please don't abuse, abuse my trust. I feel like these kind of videos are very different for me, but I know you guys like take the time to DM me and up to me and like, I'm so grateful for that, like when I read your DMs and you're sharing your experiences or how you're feeling. I am like, I feel so privileged to be in this position to be able to hear that. So in my mind I was like, you know what, I don't really give much of that back. Um, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna be open. I'm gonna try and be less Capricorn. So <laughs> here we are. Talking too much, I'll see you guys soon. That took way longer than expected. I've only just finished, it's half past five. I am gonna set straight off to the unit now because I didn't expect to be doing that haul for so long, but this is the aftermath. This is what it usually looks like. It usually looks a lot worse to be honest, but um, yeah, I'm gonna turn all the lights off, put my stuff away, and then I'm gonna head to the unit, so I'll meet you guys there. Okay, so I'm on my way to the unit, driving with me. I feel like I have really overshared today. So obviously earlier on, I was listening to Marcus Houston clubbing. Love a bit of Marcus Houston. Um, right now I'm listening to J-Lo, I'm having a real, God, that's the cutest little dog running he's got like a little thing around his he's just so cute uh, sorry I'm like a magpie when I see a dog I'm just instantly distracted um, so yeah music choice I'm listening to J-Lo um, Loving You because obviously the Ben Affleck saga they're back together so I'm just reliving my teenage years of Benifer. Um but anyway yeah I'm on the way to the unit now so I will show you the bag is full of bags, we've run out of bags. Roger some more, they're on the way. <laughs> Hi, yeah. This is day in the life. Yeah. So this is our little office space. I'll show you around. Obviously it's nothing fancy. <laughs> it's just our little space. And then in here is our little packing and work office. And all of the shops are in here. And then we have shops on the bottom, body suits on the top, accessories. And we're just breaking our way through all of the pinky body suits, which are all here. This was literally to the top yesterday, so we got through loads of them, and the same with the extra large. Um, and then, sorry, data protection. We put everything in plastic bin liners as we are doing them because. Hermes come to pick up from here and obviously we have to take it from here downstairs and then they have to take it to the Hermes sorting office um, for them to be processed so it's just easier. We did actually have some like postal bags at one point but they've gone now. Um, they literally last for two minutes and then they never come back. I've also got all the samples and stuff that I'm working on so these are different fabric swatches that have been sent to me. And these are some designs I'm working on. As mentioned, these are samples that we were looking at for blazer, but I don't think any of them are right. And then this is a design I'm doing as well. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I just wanted to show you behind the scenes of our little unit space. And to be honest, I feel like we're gonna outgrow this place very quickly because already we're like on top of each other here and now we're taking on some staff as well. Um, but it's just such a blessing to have this because oh, it was so stressful having it at home, so. Let's go in and pack some orders. Oh, look, they can't see my booty. I think, no, it's booty in that. Look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Can you imagine? It's quite reflective, that. Packing. So, it's just gone half past seven. We have just tidied up. Nearly done all the orders. There's probably another hundred left to do before the pickup. So we are ahead of schedule and we're gonna go home now and have Chinese food, which I'm really excited about. So Anthony's just gone to pick it up. Me and Anthony's mum, Jen, are gonna go in my car and go to their house. So probably gonna end the vlog here because we're gonna have a nice family evening together. But thank you so much for watching it day in my life. Let me know if this is something that's actually interested, if you wanted, if you've enjoyed getting to know me a little bit better and me sharing a bit more of my life um, and the business and stuff. Obviously I didn't really show you much of ELR style because I've overrun completely today with filming. Um, but yeah, let me know if this is something you enjoyed and what else I should do that's like this in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys really soon. Bye.